Hey everyone, welcome back to Wild Sunny Farms. My name is Grayson. Before we get into the video, go on and click that thumbs up button. That helped me out a lot. And today we are in this colony. And if you guys remember, this was actually the colony we got into in my last video. It wasn't too long ago that we got into this colony. And today we're going to be doing something totally different. A whole different topic, subject, that I actually did get into in my last video. And that is testing and treating for varroa mites getting our bees ready for winter so i recently did a video if you guys remember we're going to open this um that about uh building up your bees getting them ready for winter right feeding for the most part and you know additives and all this different type of stuff for feeding uh, i talked a little bit about mites too but one of the most important subjects that goes into getting your bees ready for winter is treating for mites. Today we're going to be treating with Apigard once we are, go ahead and test this colony. Now, now it's a very out, um, it's like a very, very um, cloudy day today. It's very cool, very nice um, weather. We're going to have to be very careful when we do our test not to accidentally get our queen in the test we do not want to um put our queen in, in, in the tester with all the bees and kill her because that's what we'll end up doing we'll get our bees from a frame of brood that's where most of all the mites will be if there are any mites in this colony which i'm sure there is i don't know the number that's why today we're going to find out pull up this frame I'm hoping our queen's going to be on this frame, so then I can easily just put this frame aside. This frame might be a frame we can use, I think. I just don't see our queen on this frame. I'm going to try to make sure, knowing that she's not on a frame, but that's a nice frame of brood. I'm not going to show you all the frames, um, unless if, they're, if we find the queen. Because most of you guys know what this looks like if you go back to my recent video. My other video that was recently uploaded. So after this video, if you don't know that video, go check it out. Because I was like, I actually inspected the whole thing. It was a very nice looking colony. eggs in here so our queen has been here good look little frame there just need to find the queen even if I don't I just gotta make sure I don't you know accidentally um, get her in the test that we want to do Next frame. Alright, this frame looks like the frame I want to do it off of. Just get a little a couple of bees, not a lot of bees. They're like, hopefully around 300. Okay, our queen is not on this frame. Does not look like it. Okay, let's do our test on this frame. Just gotta get a tester. Oh, we're gonna do our test over here where I have kind of like a platform. So we're gonna have to be careful though on here. Move this out of my way because there's some ants on here. I don't really want any ants up here. Alright. Make sure we don't got our queen on here. I don't see her. Okay, we got our test. Okay, these bees are really mad. So let's go on and 
put this frame back up. All right, we got our cats in here. Let's go on and these bees right here. Mm -hmm. Shake these, shake this up. So I'm trying to put it up close. Just shake that up a little bit. Enough to get our good estimate of maybe how many mites are in this colony. I'm hoping there's not gonna be a lot. Because I would rather there not be a lot. It's gonna be very hard to tell. Because you got the wax on the bottom here. So all times when I do my test, it's just not always accurate. It's just always hard to see. I already see one mite. I see one mite in there so far. Alright. See if you can see it. I don't know if you can see that mite. The one on the bottom. Right here. Right sure. It's nicer right here. See that little mite? One mite so far? Just gotta dislodge those mites. One. That's all I see. And that's all there is in here. If that's all there is, that's not a bad count. Should have to keep doing this and for a little bit till we know they're all dislodged and we keep having the same number. Because now we got two mites in there. Now usually out of 300 bees, if you have a, if you have more than 30, you kind of want to treat. So if we have more than three or right on three, we might want to go on and treat. We have two in here. Two per 300 bees, and we have a lot of bees in there, so you can do the math. It probably isn't it's too bad of a load. I'm going to look like it. Two months. I'm going to do this a couple of more times, and we'll check back at the end. Because I don't want to keep my lady in here, so once we get our final count, um, we'll see open. Okay, everyone, I'm back. And the final test came out just to be two mites of what I was able to see. Now, of course, we don't know if that was, you know, all the way correct. Because it's, it's sometimes going to be hard to get an exact estimate. But I got these treatments. So I think we're going to treat this colony just so then we can knock down any numbers that we have. To even whether it be two mites or not. Now, I think the way we use this is I'm sure it has the instructions. I'll read. I've already read them. The, I don't know the exact days of it, but I'll kind of have to remember that. I think it's like a week. You put this in here, and if it's all gone, you insert another one for another one to two weeks or something like that, and then your treatment's done. So I got two packs of these of ten. So we're going to see how these things work. I saw these before. I decided to get these just because I figured these would probably work the best instead of me having to put it on there myself. It's already on here. All right. So we're going to put it on top like that. Right. So this treatment is on, and I'm not going to do all the other ones, but um, I'm just going to do this one. It seems, looks like we are good. We got our Apigard on. We'll come back in about a week um, and check, make sure, I look at it. If it's all gone, we'll put another one, another tray in, and leave it for about two weeks, and then come back, and then our treatment should be done. As long as I, you know, understand it correctly, that's kind of what we're going to do. <laughs> so, we'll see how it does, and we'll try to, we'll test when we um, come back and take it all off and see how it all does.